Hey, Kevin Colby here. You want to add some spice to your live stream? Uh, okay, maybe not that kind of spice. I'm talking about adding a pre-recorded video or videos to your live stream. Hey, let's hop on the computer. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do in StreamYard. Here's option number one. So one way to have a pre-recorded video for your live stream is actually upload it to your StreamYard studio. Let me show you how to do that. Now, when you get in your studio and you wanna click on brand right there, you're gonna to go to video clips. Now, I already have a video clip here I'm gonna show you, but let me show you how to add it. You wanna click add video clip and it needs to be an MP4. You just double click it and it will upload. Now you have a 10 minute max uh, video length. So depending on how big the file is and how long it is, it may take a few minutes to upload. But since I already have one there, let me show you exactly what it looks like. So I'm gonna say, hey, check out this cool video. Now, I'm not gonna let the whole thing play, but you get the idea. When you click it, it goes full screen and it plays. And then when the video ends, it'll come back to your camera or graphic or whatever you have it set for next. Now, if you use the option of uploading a video clip to StreamYard, it will need to be an MP4. What if you have an MOV? It's very simple. All you need to do is change the extension. So where it says MOV, just highlight it, change it to MP4, hit save, and you're done. Another way to share a pre-recorded video when you live stream is actually share the video file. Now, let me show you how to do that. You wanna go down here to share and click it. Now you notice there's share screen and video file. You go to video file. It doesn't really matter where you have the video. I'm just gonna click this one. And when I click it, it'll store it right there. Now, when I add it to stream, it will start playing. So, hey, here's the video. So one of the things I would recommend is have this ready to go before your show. And when you're ready, all you got to do is you hit play and there it is. And if you notice, you have different controls and different sizes. So what's really nice about this is that you have more control over how the video looks and when you're done, you just take it out. Another way you can share a pre-recorded video during your live stream is actually share it from the source. So for example, I'm gonna show you how to share a video from YouTube. It just happens to be one of my videos, so I know we're cool. You wanna to go to share, and instead of video file, we're gonna click share screen. Go all the way over to Chrome tab. Now before you click your source, make sure you click share audio. That's very important. You wanna click it, and there it is. We'll go back to the studio, and it's right there. Add it to stream just like we did with the video file and you have the options. It's that simple. Now, if you don't wanna show it yet, you just go over here and let's say I'll show it here. You click up to here, you hit play. So I created this kind of cool, creative one stand video system. And again, just like before, you can stop it, you can start it, you can change the size of it and you can go back to yourself full screen when you're done. If you're not using StreamYard, then why not? <laughs> make sure you hit the link in the description and you can start using StreamYard today. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tips on doing more with your live stream. We'll see you in the next video.